Why hello, you're watching me have a look at the Star Trek Official Starship Collection by Eagle Moss. Today we are looking at number 44, the United Earth Starfleet Intrepid. So this is predating the Star Trek Enterprise, the NX version. Uh, well, I think it is. Um, it's got face cans, it must be. So let's have a look, look at the magazine. Do, 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 do. Um, 22nd century, yeah, it must have been. Oh, it's got torpedo launchers, so I don't think so, because... Did NX have torpedoes? I can't remember. I'm sure this is going to tell us. Uh... Hmm. It's a good pretty pictures. Small pretty pictures. Just a little read where it's from. It looks like it's around the same time as NX. So I'm guessing NX was the more modern version. This was more of a patroller version. I'm guessing. Hmm. Be nice to have a read of this. Might have to rewatch some of these Enterprise episodes because I don't remember this ship at all. Seems to mention the Expanse a lot. Some more pretty pictures. Um, oh, it's got going about the special effects. That looks like it's when the Prometheus was attacking some ship. The Nebula class one. More pretty pictures about special effects. Delta Flyer. Omega. So one was this. This was The Expanse and Twilight. Okay. Oh, hang on, we've got a picture there. So we've got Annex there. We've got some other random ships. So I guess that's where it's from. Hmm, so what's our next ship? The Malorn Export Vessel. Oh, the one that dumps all the toxic waste. That sounds rather rubbish, doesn't it? So our next one's going to be a toxic dumper. Right, let's have a look at the Intrepid. Well, it's a bit plain, isn't it? There's no registry, there's no writing. It didn't even say Intrepid on it. So I don't know what the ships are called if they don't write what's on them. Yeah, I'm trying to grab it from the nose because then the sails felt a bit flimsy there. Right, the half saucer, half moon, is heavy. It's plasticky there, but feels metally. The sails are plastic, they're quite, they're actually really flimsy. Yeah, collectors are plastic. Nice red plastic there. Be nice if there's some blue plastic behind there to show the impulse, but the impulse, the warp, but there isn't. Where's your impulse? There's no impulse there at all. It's very dull, very plain, isn't it? It's a very plain model. Your deflector dish looks quite plain. There's no blue to it, it's just a yellow blob of paint. Let's get a close up on that because of the lighting. You can see it's just yellow blob of paint. There's no indents for the windows, no registry. No numbers. It's very dull. It's very plain. What's she like from the back then? So what's all this all about? What's all this stuff here? They could have put a nice big red circle there and said that was an impulse engine. That gap there is really big. You can fit a nail in there easily. Quite like these fins on the side. Kind of add to the stability of it. It's kind of got the nacelles are very hinty of old Enterprise. I quite like it. I quite like the design. I quite like the shape, but I don't like this model. This model is too plain. It's too boring. There's no registry. There's no numbers. There's no description. There's nothing on it at all. It's just plain and boring. I would say personally, I'd skip this one, miss it, jump it, wouldn't bother with it. 
not there's anything wrong with it it just looks very plain and you'll have to sit there and explain to someone where this model came from and explain the backstory of it so but there you go there is the intrepid and i will catch you on my next video Bye, bye